Rena, so the CDC says that puts Minnesota ranking at about 16th across the country when it comes to just how much vaccine that they are in fact administering. Locally, officials say that is on pace with states that are similar in size to us like Colorado and Maryland. The Minnesota Department of Health expects to get another nearly 66,000 doses of the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine from the federal government this week. It's already received 297,350 doses. To be clear, that doesn't mean that all of those shots have been administered, but the doses are here, they've been distributed, and they are ready for hospitals who are now uh, administering them to staff. The commissioner says that process is complicated and is why Minnesota opted to take time to train its administers, unlike some other states, but that it doesn't equal a significant lag time. I want to make sure that even as we're talking about um, future plans, that we take a moment to celebrate where we're at. But I want to make sure that we don't get people ahead of themselves so that you know people aren't kind of frustrated and agitated that we haven't, you know, gotten to giving them instructions for phase 1B yet when we aren't yet done with um, the, the very first phase that we're working on. Data shows 78,402 Minnesotans have been vaccinated. MDH says it won't start phase 1B that the CDC determines includes teachers, people in prisons and grocery store workers until early February. 1B is also a much larger group than 1B, according to MDH, and they say that 1B is also a very diverse group. So this is something that will take some time. They say there will be a variety of means that they'll use to let folks know it is their turn to be vaccinated, including uh, notifications from their healthcare systems, from pharmacies, as well as setting up workplace and community vaccination sites. Rena.